The scheduler allows you to get an easy visual overview of exactly what appointments you have going on at any given time. This gives you the flexibility to schedule in new and existing appointments at the optimal time for your field workers. This video will cover calendar views, adding jobs on the scheduler, adding events on the scheduler, managing unscheduled jobs on the scheduler, and map views in WorkEver. Calendar views. Calendar views are flexible and give you the option to view jobs on a daily, weekly, or monthly view. You can also use the timeline view to view between 1 and 12 days at once. You can also specify the times you want to see. This comes in handy if for example your working day is 9 to 5 and you only want to see these hours. To move between the days, simply click and select a date or the left and right arrows. To change the order of your field workers in the timeline, click the settings button, which is at the top right. Once you're done, click save. Adding jobs on the scheduler. You can add a new job on the scheduler by clicking the timeline at the point you would like your new job scheduled and then click the new job button. You can then fill in your job details. The scheduled date and time and field worker will be added automatically based on the time slot you've clicked on the scheduler timeline. Then click save. You can also click Add Unscheduled Job when clicking the timeline. This will let you add a pending job onto the scheduler. Adding events on the scheduler. Events are great for adding things such as meetings, part collections, holidays and much more. Adding events on the scheduler is similar to adding jobs. Click the timeline at the point you want to schedule the event and then click New Event. Add the event name, description, event category, or make it a recurring event if it happens on a regular basis. The field worker, as well as time and date will be added automatically based on the time slot you clicked on the scheduler. Once you're done, click save. Managing unscheduled jobs on the scheduler. You can drag and drop unscheduled jobs from the Unscheduled Jobs section at the top of the screen onto a specific field worker's timeline. The job will be automatically assigned to that field worker once you've dropped it onto their timeline. You can also click on a job brick in the scheduler timeline and click Edit Job to edit the job details if needed. Once you've made changes, click Save. You can filter jobs by clicking the Filter button which will allow you to filter by customer, field worker, status, and much more. On the top right-hand side of the screen, you also have an option to hide the unscheduled jobs section, calendar, or the map. Map View Map View lets you see all of your jobs on the map, based on the location of the job. You can also see your field workers on the map if they are using the mobile app and have location tracking enabled. On the top left-hand side, you can zoom in and zoom out on the map, or center the map to your location. You can click the Show Unscheduled Jobs button to see unscheduled jobs on the map for help with scheduling. Clicking a job on the map lets you view the job's basic details. You can click the Edit Job button if you need to see full job details, or to edit the job. So now you have learnt how to use calendar views, adding jobs on the scheduler, adding events on the scheduler, managing unscheduled jobs on the scheduler, and map views in WorkEver.